Hey, it's Clay at ClayTurner.com. This is my top 10 stocks as we head into Monday, December 18th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. First off, a couple of clarifications. Number one, the candlestick that you see right there will be moving around. That's because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one, ticker symbol NKLA. And today, finally behaved human a little bit. Now there is a bit of perspective that goes into this. What do I mean? Well, if you're some sort of day trader, flipper, scalper, whatever you want to call yourself, and you bought during the first 30 minutes up right there, and your plan was to buy and sell in 20 minutes, well then yes, from that standpoint, a pretty rough day, because from that point, the price ultimately did pull back. With that being said, assuming you care about the bigger picture point of view, then everything is still perfectly fine. You can see right here that, and I'm gonna draw this very crudely, but from the bigger picture, you essentially just have a big old bull pennant pattern. Meaning sure it pulled back from right there, but for with the grand scheme of things, the price is still consolidating at much higher lows. And from a bigger picture point of view, that's what you wanna see. You wanna see consolidations happen at higher and higher areas. And that's still what's in play here. Now, of course, if the price just collapses down here, all right, everything I'm saying right now becomes a moot talking point. But as of right now, it is consolidating higher. Um, so again, I fully realize that, that if you're a day trader and you bought right there, then yeah, maybe you don't necessarily care about uh, and would disagree that it's a good looking chart. But again, it's all a matter of uh, the perspective of things. In terms of areas of support, good to see that the purple line, or excuse me, the pink line there is holding strong as support. And then as time goes by, continue to watch that purple line there, 50 period moving average. So as time goes by, that line will move itself higher and higher. And as long as the price, uh, price stays above that purple line, at least in my opinion, the overall chart remains plenty in the bull's favor. Next one, ticker symbol VRCA. Very, very nice move today and got a bit of a pullback, but now we have, and this is why I like to do these when the market's still open, but you can see last 30 minutes here, this thing is pushing and has broken out of this little miniature consolidation right here. It's occurring on bigger volume. Now, not nearly as big of the volume as it was back here, but still bigger volume than what it had during this consolidation area. So like I said, nice move up, pulled back, consolidated, and then this is what makes it interesting is we've now got the breakout of that consolidation, which leads to the more than valid question, is this the start of something even bigger? Now, to be fair, maybe it's not. Maybe this thing is just a temporary breakout and it rolls back over. But that is a two-sided coin because, I mean, maybe it is the start of something bigger and this thing is getting ready to you know rock and roll next week as it comes out of the consolidation. But that's the whole idea of a watch just to find unique to find interesting situations, then not randomly rush out and buy stuff, but to watch it. So if you like these sorts of circumstances where you get a nice move up, you get some consolidation, and then you get uh, some continuation back into the upwards direction, which is happening here, then I definitely keep an eye on this one for Monday. Next one here, ticker symbol ICCT, and nice pattern here. So let's map out a couple levels. And this first line that I'm gonna draw into place, I'm not trying to impress you. This is not some sort of great discovery. I assure you a lot of people have seen this area. And I say that because when a lot of people are watching the same level, and I'm gonna call this right here at $1.80 and wondering the same things, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. It can produce some very dynamic movement. So while there is no such thing as a guarantee, is it plausible? Is it reasonable that if the price comes up here and can get a break up through there, that that break in and of itself could create additional buying pressure? That is certainly a plausible uh, you know, conclusion that could very well play out. So keep an eye on that from the resistance standpoint in terms of breakouts. And then as far as pullbacks and supports, interesting level down there at the $1.42 mark. But in my opinion, at least, definitely the most interesting dynamic is all about that key area up there at $1.80 and can the price work its way back up there and get through it? We'll see what happens. Next one here, ticker symbol G-E-T-R and same exact concept of what I just talked about. I assure you a lot of people have drawn that trend line right there. So don't think that I'm trying to you know, imply this is a, a great discovery or anything like that. So we once again have one of those potential self-filling prophecies where, and again, as I speak, you can see the price is doing battle with that trend line. But if the price can push up through that trend line, then we have a very exciting question of, okay, is this the start of something even bigger? Now, right now, the question is, can the price break through it? But if the price does break through it, then that question transitions into the more exciting question of, all right, mission accomplished, you broke above it, is it the start of something bigger? But the point here being is you have a very well-defined level, you have a penny stock, and there are a lot of people out there that like penny stocks with good solid volume. So if you are somebody that likes penny stocks and you like these potential self-filling prophecy type breakouts, definitely keep an eye on it. Next one here, AMC. And overall, uh, you know, I hesitate because, I mean, has this been a total dead cap bounce? Well, I mean, technically speaking, no, because to be fair, the price was down at this location before it made the huge move up. 
but now it's basically come all the way down here. So where it's at right now, is it as low as what it was down there? I mean, it, it's not, but it's definitely within the general ballpark. So I'm not going to quite call it a full-blown, um, you know, dead cat bounce, pump and dump, whatever you want to call it. But it's certainly looking very, very sketchy at this point. And that is also why I would consider this a muscle level down at uh, the 655 mark. Because if 655 is broken and the price goes down to that area, well, at that point, you officially have the price having gone right to where it was. Or in other words, that would be implying that the price made a huge move up and then went literally right back to where it started, which is not the sign of any sort of genuine strong move. So again, I'm not saying that's what will happen, but that's why in my mind, 655, very, very important level of support. If the price does try to turn itself back around, then key area to watch right there at that 50 period moving average. And if that can be broken, then keep a close eye on the 200 period moving average. Real quick, want to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online class that I'm offering next week. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency and manage risk, then definitely get signed up for the free live class. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box you can click on. Or if you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free live class. Next one here, ticker symbol PLTR. And we once again have one of those situations where, you know, it depends on perspective. Day traders that bought up there and wanted to sell, you know, buy and sell within five minutes, terrible looking chart. But if you care about the bigger picture of things, even with the bigger pullback here, you can see the price has still put in a higher base. So, I mean, just for example, like let's say the price actually went down to that red line. It didn't, but like I said, for argument's sake, let's say it did. Well, you'd still have a set of those there. You'd have lows there. You'd have lows down here. And if you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, then from the big picture, you'd still very clearly have stair steps making progress in the upwards direction. And that's what you want to see from the overall standpoint. You just want to see progress being made. No price can go straight up as nice as that would be, but you do want to see progress. And in this situation, quote unquote, progress being defined as 1795, which again, the price didn't even technically hit today. Uh, so overall from that angle, uh, in the bigger picture, everything is just fine. If the price does try to bounce back upwards, key area resistance to watch initially will be that pink line there, the 200 period moving average. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and just use this area of resistance right up there. Uh, is essentially right where the party stopped today, and that was up there right around $19.15. So like I said, overall, still a good-looking chart, but if you're some sort of day trader and depending on where you bought, then it could be a really bad-looking chart. Next one, ticker symbol TSLA Tesla, and got a bit of a breakout today. Nothing explosive, but I drew this pattern in yesterday's video, and you can see right here, did get the breakout through there. Didn't explode or anything like that, although I will say the last 30 minutes, looking nice and strong here. Uh, but let's get some new levels mapped out as I just get rid of these ones here. So the newest level and going back to that talking point of self-filling prophecies, you got to think that everybody in their brother's uncle is watching that level right there at the 254 mark. You can see right here that that's where the price got rejected from. And then looking at today, got very close right here. And then as I speak, the price is once again approaching that level. So same talking point as what I've said. A lot of people watching that level, a lot of people wondering, can it break? And if it does break, that's where the next question comes into play. Is that the start of something even bigger? Now, the one difference would be this is Tesla. And if you're not really aware, Tesla is a very popular stock. So you're gonna have a lot of stock traders watching it. You're gonna have a lot of options traders watching it. So that's, you know, still does not guarantee anything, but it does make it that much more plausible that you could get some sort of self-fulfilling prophecy. So all eyes on 254 for Monday. We'll see if the price can break it. Next one, CCCC. And just in case, wait, what did you just say? As a reminder, the ticker symbol is right there. But overall, thing is starting to act human. But I will say it's holding its gains better than I thought it would. A lot of these stocks that make monster moves, they just drop down just as quick, if not even faster. But yeah, this one's pulled back, but you know, it's holding its gain surprisingly well. So got to give credit where credit's due. So as far as supports, now today wasn't the most exciting day, but that's where I, I started off talking about all that because just the fact that it hasn't completely collapsed is a nice little sign of strength in and of itself. Now it could of course collapse on Monday, but it has not yet done so. So you got to give credit where it is due. So as far as supports are concerned, first key level gonna be that purple line right there, which is actually very close to the current price. But if that level falls, not the end of the world because not that far away, you then have this $3.68 mark down around there that you'd wanna keep an eye on. And then from the big, big picture of things, you'd wanna see the price hold above that pink line there, the 200 period. But I do realize that's super far away, but that is kind of the catch 22 when you have movements that make you know these huge movements like that. In terms of areas of resistance, the level that I'm kind of curious about and more so the near term, is that trend line right there from resistance standpoint. So keep an eye on that. And if the price can get a high volume break of that, that could very, very well serve as a, a leading indicator uh, that the highs are gonna get retested and potentially even go to new highs. But like I said, not the most exciting day, but all things considered, I would consider it a healthy day. 
Next one here, AMD. And once again, we have, I mean, maybe an argument, which is more of a popular stock, AMD or Tesla. Uh, I'll, I'll let you battle that out in the comment section. But uh, we have, once again, popular stock around some very well-defined levels. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that because in my opinion, I think at this point, there's gonna be a bunch of people that are drawing that trend line into place right there. And you know the spiel now when a lot of people are watching the same levels, you can potentially get some of those self-fulfilling prophecies, especially when you sprinkle in that AMD, like Tesla, very, very popular stock. So if the price can come up here, get to that area and then push up through there, does that guarantee anything? No, but could it lead to that much more buying pressure on AMD? Absolutely, especially when you consider just how strong the overall chart is. I mean, it seems like this thing only goes in the upwards direction. And then from the bigger picture, and I'm gonna draw this very crudely, but so resistance, support, basically a big bull pennant pattern, um, you know, from a, a, an overarching standpoint. But the moral of the story here is zooming back in is you got to think a lot of people are watching that tread line. So we'll see if it can break and if that can lead to some sort of self-fulfilling prophecy. Next one here, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ. So if you believe the NASDAQ market is going to go up as a whole, this one will also go up and it makes it a very popular ETF. And you can see from those of you that watched yesterday's video, drew that trend line right there. So the price has got a beautiful break from there, but we now have ourselves one of those potential self-filling prophecies once again. Now I wanna leave this 50-35 mark up there because that is a, a very key overarching level. But in the near term now, we have this level that has made itself very apparent, which again, a lot of people have noticed this level. So by no means is this a, a special skill. 49.80 though, a lot of people have said, okay, oh, interesting, got rejected there. Oh, interesting, got rejected there. Okay, well, if the price can go up there and break through it, is that the point where shorts start to cover and other people start to buy? Maybe so, but the point here being is you gotta think that everybody there was brother's uncle is gonna be watching 48, or excuse me, $49.80 on Monday morning as a key area of resistance. As far as supports are concerned, uh, nothing really crazy here, just the standard areas. In fact, I've, no, I said, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this area up. So and I should note, whenever levels of support need to be adjusted in the upwards direction, always a good thing. So on the newest levels, 47.50, but then in more of the near term, the key level to watch will be that purple line right there, which you now know is the 50 period moving average. But all things considered, nice looking chart and all eyes gonna be watching 49.80 on Monday. So that wraps up the top 10 list. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to go get signed up for that free class next week. It'll be Thursday, December 21st at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as the top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy these, please do two things for me. Hit the like button, leave a comment below, even if you just say hi or Merry Christmas or tell me what you traded today, tell me what your watch list is for next week. But those things help out the channel, help out with the algorithm, and I thank you in advance for it. So go get signed up for that free class, hit the like button, leave a comment below, and have a great weekend.